Well, thank you for being here and for uh, listening this afternoon about what we started and began. It seems like a long time ago, but just more than two years ago when sitting in my office minding my own business, which doesn't happen very often, the phone rang and it was Julia Groom Thompson and uh, Don Romanek from the, from the Episcopal Church Foundation saying, we have an idea. <laughs> we need to take a look at buildings in the church. I said, well, yeah, wow. There's an innovative thought. <laughs> <laughs> No, we don't just want to look at the buildings, but we want to think about how they can serve mission in the 21st century. Okay, well, now we're talking. And we began uh, a collaboration between... I need the next slide. Okay, there we go. Between the Episcopal Church Building Fund and the Episcopal Church Foundation, which is a relationship that's lasted for these years, we face a particular dilemma. It's a dilemma that some of you may have faced or at least know someone who has in a family where the elder person in the family who has lived in the big house for most of their life is reaching a point where they need to make decisions about what's going to be next. And they're not particularly interested in moving out of the big house that they've lived in for their whole life into a smaller apartment and or into assisted living. In fact, they're particularly resistant to the whole idea. And we can be rational about it and give good reasons, but of course we know things are more than about just being rational or we'd already be doing what we know we're supposed to be doing. There's a lot of emotional process tied up in it. And so finally, it gets to the point where we need to say, look, you don't have to move out of the big house now. But there's going to come a point in time where you can't make decisions about your own future. Right now, you have, here's some options for you. But there's going to come a time when there aren't going to be any options. In fact, we're going to have to make the decision for you. Because you'll either be incapable of doing so, or life circumstance will be such that there are no options. Make the choice now while you have the options. Have someone else make the choice for you. This is precisely what Julia and Donald said we need to look at with churches. Can you find us a place or a few places that are in that predicament, where they might have some choices now, but they're close to a piece or a part of the cycle where they'll no longer have choice. And can we work with these congregations to think about what they could do with the buildings, how the buildings could serve mission? And let me tell you about our project but before that, let me say one thing. There is a group in the church, and if this sounds like a commercial, it's because it is. There is an organization in the church that's uniquely equipped to do this kind of work and to lead these kinds of processes, and it's the Episcopal Church Building Fund. And I have no idea how they do it with two full-time staff people. I think Julia doesn't sleep, and neither does Sally. But these are innovative and people who have done wonders uh, in, our, in our diocese. And this is an organization worth working with.